This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! All right, this is Swag Dean with Dice Commando, and it's official. It's a series. I, I keep making them. So here we are. This will be our fourth. We are going through the history of FFG, doing build-a-box draft experiences through TTS. This is the ARH mod. Going in here, we're building a box, and we're done it. We've done it. We're out of the black boxes. We're going to move into the white boxes with legacies. And after doing three of these, um, you think like, oh, build a box, you have so many more packs, it's going to be great. And uh, no, you really, really miss those draft kits. <laughs> I really miss them sometimes where there's a lot of stuff I just don't have, like basic, you know, like items. So let's see what kind of nonsense we can get up to here in uh, Legacies. So once again, I'm just going to ID the legendaries. They have a little bit more power sometimes. So it's kinda, sometimes it kind of pulls you in a direction. Um, oh man, I would have been bummed if I got this one in real life. This is not a great collection of legendaries. Uh, Tarkin would have been the only one worth more than like 10 bucks. At launch, I think, uh, Force Mave might have been like right around there too, but Grand Moff was like a 4 to $5 legendary, Zeb's bow rifle, <sighs> until, he ner until he dropped Finn, he was never really anything, and uh, st the Kylo Starfighter, man, we really thought that was going to be something. For a 2 drop, it could like potentially do a ton of damage with those two specials. Base sides, like I actually use this a decent amount, but... This card just looks so much better than it actually is. But you know what? In draft, that could be something. So, let's get into our characters. We have a ton of characters, which is going to be bad when we go to equip them. Uh, but let's see. we got three wedges. That's always, that's always great. So he's at least an elite option. Let's mark him as such. That's a waste of die. Oh, man. However, these battle droids, because you wanted five of them, this would have been a good box, given three battle droids. The upside of this box. But, like, where are the good weapons? I got two. I guess fiber cut list, but, like, this card is garbage. We're not going to use those. Let's throw those off the table. And, um... And we're light on yellow. We got a Hondo, and that's it. So, to get the Cutlass... 12. Tarkin at 12 and 13, and then... Well, Battle Droid does that splash red cheaply. Do we want to go Elite Wedge? Elite Wedge gives... And then it turns Vehicle Dice. Did I get a vehicle? There's one... To wait, I forgot about Callus. <sighs> no, that's just gonna be useless. I didn't really get vehicles. Uh, Finn at twelve is gonna be too much. I guess I could Kylo Starfighter if I have a blue. I don't want to be vehicle dice to any side, so I could flip to the special. Or just a two gun consistently. But we only have one. It just makes Wedge tough. But it is... It's something. I guess we got 15, and then we would do like 8. I'll give us 7. Ugh. Okay. We could do Wedge Obi-Wan. And... Just hope that Obi-Wan giving a shield every turn to Wedge keeps him alive 
to keep punching them with one of these. <laughs> this is the only vehicle that does any damage. Um, I feel like they could, they could maybe build something around Tarkin. But 13. It's still tough. We can't get our yellow splash. But we do have Grand Moff. And even blue. Like Other than Kylo Starfighter. We have to have a Force user for that. And then we have a Crystal Ball. It's so like for blue, man. <sighs> All right, and this is what I'm talking about. These draft kits, <laughs> sometimes you really miss them. I do got some grays. Lookout post could be fun with wedge and indirects. Grand Moff could be fun with wedge and indirect. If not, we're looking at a rainbow. So we can do a 12 or 13. They're all 8s. So it's like, it's like clone, Jedi, Temple Guard. 14 points left. I guess you could do Hondo. So like Hondo, clone. Jedi, Temple Guard. So that's the rainbow team. If you don't go rainbow... I think it's Wedge Obi-Wan. It's 23 health. Every time Obi-Wan kicks in, you get the shield. And then, I, because he's a single die, I imagine your opponent wouldn't go for him first. So, like, that shield health is going to add up over time. And hopefully keep Wedge alive, who's the threat. And you can see, like, this is 26 health. It's not that much more. It's so, like, you're going to live three rounds to get the shields from Obi-Wan. But yeah, let me know. Uh, let's, uh, on, let's, let's build it a third crazy option. Uh, battle droid, battle droid, battle droid. That's 18. And... <laughs> and then you use Finn, and it, when he activates, or his special... No, you, you always want to send that across. You don't want to go mono-red. It'd probably be Hondo again. Hondo, Battle Droid, Battle Droid, Battle Droid would be the other option. So we're just like, get Battle Droid craziness. Hopefully Hondo's stealing resources. I think that's the I think that's the third option. So let me know in the comments. Do you like Wedge, Obi, Rainbow, or Hondo Triple Droid as your team? To, to roll here. I'm going to go Wedge Obi-Wan. I like having an elite. I like the idea of the Obi-Wan shield. So that means all this yellow stuff is sadly not for us. Gotta take the vehicle. We do have a Force user. And having Force Wave on Obi-Wan, if like we got that down early and now they have to choose, they want to go for Obi-Wan and try to eat through his shields to stop the force wave from coming because you're probably going to play against uh, odds are you'll play against a three where they have to eat all parts of the wave I think we take Grand Moff we take the lookouts because we have indirect so that's three this gets us to six stun baton is usable that's a redeploy uh, that's actually not awful with focuses and then is this garbage we're at 9. We can take a 10th a die card. Okay. So those are our die cards. Not amazing. And subdue and all that stuff. Nope. Sadly gone. Let's see what we got. 20 more cards. So what is our good good mitigation? Um, adapt would be nice because Obi-Wan will always put it on. This is mitigation, but specific. Mislead is great. We take that. Unbreakable. 
Uh, I said, what can I have? Shields. Let's, well, keep that one around as well. <sighs> Subdue is, snare is tricky. It's a fun trick to play. No, I don't like that. I don't know how many adapts I want to take. I don't want defensive teaching. How shield heavy is this set? It's got an okay amount of shields. The Yoda's in this set. Having like off is not a terrible idea. We'll keep that in mind as well. No, we don't really have the Night Sister thing going on. We're not gonna be we're not built for witch magic. Is this is this it? Where's the good stuff? Resilient. Do we want to play Resilient on Obi-Wan? It's two. Two cost. And his die has got the threes on it. It's not the worst idea. I don't want two of them. Let's do it. It's the kind of fun thing you can do in draft. And I think having an answer to some shields is not bad. We got a lot more cards to go. Let's just take all these things we're thinking about and look at red. Actually, let's look at gray. Why is that thing rotating? Gray. Let's see. We're probably going to take a couple from here. Oh, I forgot about plots. Let's introduce plots. Does it change of any of our... Any of our builds. Three more points just to add two indirects. I don't think so. <sighs> Are we gonna be doing discards? It's better for Yoda. Uh, not really weapon heavy. Uh, we don't need to battlefield that bad. No. I'd say in a battlefield I'm in love with either. That's not terrible. I feel like I, don't, I can't afford the Obi Wan 3 or like the modifier on Wedge. That's a good battlefield for us. Got a lot of specials in this set. Like, I think like Dive, which could be Blowout. It's like a whole bunch of indirect and special dealing characters in the set. I just don't know if that'd be good. Defend a little bit better, but still not great. Yeah, I'm really not looking. I don't have three characters, so I don't want that. Yeah, gray looks like a loss. So we need red cards. Red to come through for us, or we're gonna be in trouble. Don't have any of those. Uh, sure, why not? That's removal and damage. I'll do that. I'll do all three of those. Do we have any more? I'll take another target practice. Mend is good. Healing. Um. That's not going to happen consistent enough. We have indirects for sure. I'll take a cover team. Another one? I'll take two cover teams. 25. Oh, we're making some progress. Mend. Attack run. Activate a support. We have some of those. Nope. I can do that. Doesn't. That's the cheaper support. I only have two though. Two supports, vehicles. Move a weapon from one to the other. Mm, no. I think that's just like our auto fix to. You know, throw the most indirect and 
two cover teams is more than enough. And let's take one three steps ahead, just for... Cause that allows us to activate a support, wedge power action it to its best side, and then resolve it. There's potential blow play or something. Or Obi-Wan and a three or something. Okay. So there we go. This is janky. All the decks I've built so far have, been, have felt pretty janky. Elite Wedge, Obi-Wan. Playing on launch deck. And uh, trying to throw some Kylo Starfighters at people. <laughs> um, I don't know that that deck would have been much better. I'm regretting some of my choices. But no, I think this is okay. This is This is playable. This has a theory. It's got some tricks. This would be my Legacies Build-A-Box Draft Deck. So thanks again for hanging with me as I go through this series of nostalgic draft experiences that for games that never actually happen. <laughs> Remember to uh, like and subscribe, and as always, go Commando! Thank you.